Hey guys, Sark here from Sark e Tech, and in today's video I'm going to show you an amazing feature on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and the Tab S7 Plus that no other tablet on the market can do. So let's dive in and get started. This is a very important feature that might even affect your buying decision. Now first and foremost, I do want to let you know, like every other tablet, we have a regular tablet mode. So I can swipe back and forth, I've got access to my applications. I can go and download new applications if I want to. I can browse the web, launch applications, use them, and so on and so forth. You can do everything you want on this tablet as usual. But this tablet also has a very special desktop mode that takes your productivity and work to the next level if you end up buying this. It's known as Samsung DeX functionality that transforms your tablet into a desktop PC-like environment. So basically, if I pull down my no notifications panel, okay, you are gonna see the option sitting right here. It is known as Samsung DeX option. Now to start the option, all you do is tap on this button and that's going to activate the Samsung DeX mode. And what's gonna happen is the tablet is gonna transform from a software perspective into a desktop-like PC, as you can see. This is no longer the actual tablet interface. This is the Samsung DeX interface designed for work and desktop PC-like functions. For example, here's the application as I launched earlier. Now, they're actually just like a bunch of Windows on a Windows PC or a Mac PC. Here's that Play Store I launched. Again, let me just not now this one. And again, I can have it here. I can minimize them, okay? Or I can actually maximize them as I please. Uh, minimize them again, move them around to the corner, whatever. I can even attach the corner and have a split screen uh, multitasking here. So all these things are available on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S7, but there's even more. First and foremost, you can connect a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard so you can use this with a mouse and a keyboard if you want, if you are doing some work. So if I were to go to my app drawer here, I can easily launch a word processor and start typing or whatever, uh, Microsoft Word, and all Microsoft products are fully customizable. Now, that's not everything, okay? One more thing I'm gonna show you guys is very special. You can have this entire desktop environment and wirelessly cast it onto a TV. So not only do you have access to all this stuff here, okay, you can go, go to the gallery, you know, look at your photos or whatever, you can browse my files, you can do word processing, you can do a lot of stuff, but you can also take this whole thing and wirelessly cast it to a high definition TV, has to be a smart TV with a Wi-Fi connection, and you can continue using it that way with the mouse and keyboard attached. Let me show you how that works real quick, and then we'll come back and explore all the specific features of Samsung Dex. All right, so as you can see, here's the tablet and here's the high definition TV right over here. So the very first step when you want to connect the tablet uh, to the TV wirelessly to use the Samsung Dex functionality is to go into the inputs on your remote control for the TV and make sure you choose, in my case, because I have an LG TV, you're going to be choosing, I want to be choosing the screen share option, but in your case, you might have a different name for it, but you want to make sure that you uh, connect to the input option that allows wireless connection. So let me do that. I'm going to put the remote aside. So now the next step is going to be on your Samsung Tab S7. You want to start your DeX mode. So I'm going to go into my settings, okay? It's going to be in your quick toggles. All you do is simply click on it, and that's going to activate the Samsung DeX mode on your actual tablet for now. What we want to do is we want to transfer all this desktop environment onto the large TV. So let's do that right now. So the next step would be when you're in the Samsung DeX mode, what you wanna do is you wanna go into your settings, okay? And from here, go straight into Samsung DeX. And over here, you'll see an option that says connect wirelessly right over there. You tap on it, and as long as you have a smart TV in the house, it's gonna find and list the TV right here. In my case, I have the LG TV, all right? So once you're ready, you simply tap on it and you'll see this prompt that says start now. So I'm gonna tap on start now and now you'll see what happens on the TV. Let me just show them both a little bit. Okay, so this shows Samsung and this shows Samsung DeX functionality. 
So it's gonna start up and you'll see, there we go. So this entire thing, right now, this is in the regular tablet mode and this is in the Samsung DeX mode. So you can use this as a tablet if you want as you do something right here. But there's another cooler option. So what you can do is if you pull the notifications panel down, you'll notice that we have an option here that says use your tablet as a touchpad. Now if I tap on this one, uh, the tablet is going to turn into a touchpad and then what I can do is I can control the TV using this touchpad. So take a look at this. I'm putting my finger here and I am using the mouse pointer as a touchpad. All right. So I just wanted to show you that this is in fact possible. Now we're gonna go back into the actual tablet and continue demonstrating all the features of Samsung DeX. But you can do everything on a TV wirelessly or if you want, uh, you can actually do it with a cable. So you have all these options on your tablet, wirelessly, or with a cable Samsung DeX. All right, so we're back over here. The desktop interface has been locked. Again, you can just unlock it with your password. All right, so let's go over some of the particulars of this Samsung DeX functionality. Now, first and foremost, like I said, you can have windows floating on the screen. You can also resize the windows, just like on a desktop PC, okay? Makes work much easy. And then at the bottom, you have access to your quick toggles. Here's a uh, the volume slider, okay? And here we have a screenshot button. You tap on this, it takes a quick screenshot, no problem. Goes into your gallery, which is right here, okay? So let me minimize this. Anything you minimize goes down here. So let me launch a couple of these guys and just minimize them. You can see them right here. On top of that, you can press and hold on the actual screen and you can change the wallpaper. So I can go to wallpaper or I can do all these various things. Tap on wallpaper and let's go into my wallpapers. Just pick something else for a second here. Let's go with this one, okay? Uh, you can do it for the home or the lock screen. Let's do the home screen. So now we have a different wallpaper. Over here, where it says 25, those are just a bunch of notifications. If I tap it, that's gonna bring up all my notifications. I have 25 email notifications, and then one screenshot notification. I can access my Wi-Fi from here. I can look at my, look at my other stuff right here, uh, the battery status and all that stuff. So when you tap this area, it just brings up the control panel. Okay, so that's that. Now one more thing, if I go to my settings, and this is very important, uh, if I go into my Samsung DeX functionality, I do have a whole bunch of options in relation to Samsung DeX. We already talked about the connect wirelessly, but the most important part is if you scroll down, you can attach a keyboard and a mouse to this interface so you can work easy instead of using your fingers. By the way, you can also use the S Pen if you want. Okay, so that's another plus. But let's do the mouse example real quick. I just want you guys to see uh, how easy it is. So here's a wireless mouse, okay? This is a wireless Bluetooth mouse. I'm gonna tap on the mouse trackpad, okay? And it gives you all the options. But to connect to the mouse is very easy. All you do is you tap over here, and here's your Bluetooth options. Turn on Bluetooth, okay? And then I'm gonna put this in the pairing mode. I'm gonna press the button. Okay, let's wait for it to blink real quick. So it is in the pairing mode. It just popped up right here as a designer mouse. I'm gonna connect to it. It's pairing with the mouse. And now I'm just gonna put the mouse to the side and look at that. I'm using, uh, this arrow is moving because I'm moving the mouse on the actual table. You just can't see it, but it's not a big deal. But I can click on all these buttons as if I was working on a desktop PC. I can right click to bring up all these options to change the wallpaper. I can right click on the actual applications, okay? Double click to launch them and all that good stuff. And of course, uh, like I said, you can work a lot on this PC if you download the specific applications designed for Samsung DeX. To access those apps, all you do is go to your apps and look at this, it says check out apps for Samsung DeX. You click on it, it takes you to the Samsung internet, just continue, and then you get dumped onto their website. Let me just, uh, all right, let me just maximize this here. Okay, so that's the uh, thing. I'm using the track. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Okay, I'm using, I'm using the mouse to do all this. I can use my fingers too. Okay, but look at that. We have Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Remote Desktop, Parallels application, Polaris Office, Skype, OneNote, Cisco, all these things. And we have even more uh, if you go to the bottom. So all these applications can be downloaded from the regular app store 
or from the Galaxy App Store. And like I said, look, here's somebody connected with a mouse and a keyboard, as you can see. So all these things, there's so much flexibility. Uh, you can use it on the tablet itself. You can uh, project the tablet onto a larger wireless monitor, or you can project the tablet onto a wired monitor with a wired USB to HDMI cable. It's all up to you. But even the fact that you have this here, makes working easier because of that Windows-like uh, environment. Now let's give you a quick example. Let's go to the, uh, just, to, just to show you how the apps work. Let's go to the YouTube application. Okay, here it is. And in my case, I don't have a wireless keyboard attached right now. If I did have it attached, I could just type right into it. But in this case, when I tap on search, uh, it brings up the floating keyboard and I can use this to search anything that I want. Okay, let's search for uh, Saki Tech or I can use my fingers okay nature so let's uh, search for that click on search it's gonna bring up a video I'm gonna tap on the video let me just kill the volume where's the volume so we don't get blown up over here all right let's kill the volume now I'm gonna play this video okay and then no thanks to this let me just skip this advertisement real quick all right so here's the Windows application now I can take this and I can maximize this it's gonna fit into the window but if I want to watch the whole thing, I can just go like that, all right? So that's not a problem. When you want to minimize it, you go up. There you go. And you are good to go, okay? So that's how most applications work. You can do anything. You can maximize them, X them out, or whatever. And then if you go here, like I said, you can exit the DEX mode when you're done working on the DEX site. If I click on exit, it goes out, goes right back into the regular tablet interface now you can use your fingers and control it as a regular tablet all right so this is what i wanted to show you guys absolutely fantastic feature something you want to think about when you're in the market to buy a tablet understand that other tablets may be able to cast the screen onto a tv but they don't have the desktop like environment so if you're if you're somebody who does word processing and stuff like that some light duty professional tasks and you want a desktop like environment this is a tablet to consider for sure and of course you also have the aspect all right so if you have any questions comments or concerns drop them down below and let me know for now guys have a fantastic day all right